hi guys very good evening to you uh, in this video uh, we'll learn about the input box and we'll make a program with the help of which a uh, user can enter some number in the screen and uh, you know so many sheets can be created in your excel environment right so uh, we'll go to the developer tab and we'll go to the visual basic environment and go to the insert and module and let us start writing our uh, code so i'm going to name this as a sheet create subroutine this is going to be my macro name and i'll start this dim z as long and i'll give this input box because i want to display a box on the screen so i say that enter sheet and if you want to give any title you can give the title let's say i'll say that uh, i'll write i'll write my name not not a name but maybe uh, let's say excel program right and i don't need anything so i'm just closing this right so these are the two parameters which i'm going to pass in and uh, once i have this number let me show you what exactly it is going to do let me press f8 and you'll see that i get this excel program the name on the title bar and this enter sheet so if a user enters four then what we want is it should be four uh, worksheets should be created and uh, but it should be created uh, you know exactly after the very uh, last sheet since i have just one sheet here so that's fine uh, but we'll write a code dynamic so that uh, in future or maybe in your case if you have already five sheets existing sheet then uh, you know the new sheet will be created after the fifth sheet so this is how you are going to do uh, what you will do is uh, you'll say that uh, worksheet dot add so you really don't want to add anything before so what i want is i want and after this is how you write this parameter this is optional thing uh, but you can write it because then a person who is going to read this he will be able to understand your code and uh, now what we want is we want that this is something i want right so after counting the sheets total uh, number of sheets uh, whatever the sheet uh, would come it should actually you know create this worksheet dot add after afterwards after after that sheet right after that number and if we also wanted how many sheets to be created so we'll uh, use this count again you can write this like z right uh you can write uh, this code uh, in this way as well let me just copy this let me paste it uh so maybe uh you can leave these uh you know parameters and you can write the code like this as well one and the same thing but why i'm insisting you uh you know uh, encouraging you to use uh, these uh, optional parameters because it is always actually good to read the code you know with the help of these things however it is not uh, required it is not uh, they are actually optional right somebody if somebody is uh, goes through your uh, through your code then he should be able to understand it uh, with the help of these optional parameters you know so i won't say it's a, like basically they are not the parameters but they are the naming convention which we use for the these parameters the parameters are these parameters z and this you know entire code sheets and then bracket start sheets dot count right so when you press space you see these are the parameters so i have before parameter after count type and four parameters are there but we are not interested in the you know before so what i'll do is we'll say that this comma i i will leave this as it is and then after in this after you can see here it is bold so whatever the you you'll write here it is going to be counted considered into this after and thereafter uh, in your this count after this comma you know this is taking this parameter right so this is how you write but when you are actually declaring them uh, let me just comment this out when you are declaring this then you really don't have to use these commas i mean you don't have to actually tell excel that uh, you know if you see here we have not used any comma here right because we have we are clearly telling that this sheets uh, then bracket sheet uh, sheets dot count is actually used for this after right but in this case excel uh, when you press space uh, let me just show you like this 
just delete this and remove this comment so when you press space you have to tell actually you know in which parameter you are going to enter the value uh, in case if you are not writing this after colon equals to or over here as we have written here count uh, colon and equals to right you need to tell so I'll not write anything in the before so I'll just simply pass on this by pressing the comma and now after parameter is bold then I'll write whatever I'll write in this it will be considered for the after so that's how you can actually do the program make the program all right so let us uh, now uh, see uh, whether we are able to make this or not so let's run this I'm gonna run this all right so I got the prompt so I'll enter let's say five sheets and I'm going to press OK just keep a uh, keep your eyes over here because right now as you see we have just one sheet and uh, ideally to now create five extra sheets press OK all right bingo so that's how you know one two three four and five right the five sheets are created now you might be thinking that I don't get the sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4 address because I have actually deleted those files I was working on this file so those files will not be repeated here but you can rename it right so this is how you can create the sheets and uh, this is how with the help of the input box you can make this program quite easy right so what you can do is you can for now let me show you one thing more let's say I'm going to delete these uh, three sheets right and uh, now we're gonna run this let us check that whether our sheets are created after the sheet 10 or not right so maybe we can name it like A and B so I'm on the B I'm on the A and I'm going to, I'm gonna run this so I'll say that I want 10 sheets I'll press OK and you see here that the 10 sheets are created immediately after B so it is not mixing up with this main sheet A or B right uh, if you're going to uh, maybe interested in let's say changing the position of this uh, of these newly sheets then what you can do is um, you can write here when you press space I was telling you that this parameter is for the after so maybe you can change uh, this to before right and uh, all right so now let's run this I'm going to say two sheets I want so you see here that I've created the two sheets which is you know which comes between this A and B the reason being is because the B was the last uh, sheet and I must tell you again you might be confused here that what is exactly is happening so no problem uh, we'll see this code again let me just delete that and uh, let me select the main sheet now see what will happen I'm going to press it uh, press F8 this time I'll go slow alright so let's enter 4 now the moment I uh, you know execute this line see what is happening now we s we are seeing that you have to create the sheet before this code now if I hover my this you know cursor on this sheets dot count you see here that this is exactly giving you three because you have total three sheets in your code so what is happening is it is going to create a sheet before the third sheet because this is a number so when you declare the sheet in this parameter it is going to act as uh, you know in this uh, line of this uh, sheets then bracket start this sheets dot count uh, will give you three and then the three sheet will be selected and that's my third sheet so eventually what will happen is the sh three sheets will be created before B because B is the third sheet now just understand this if I'm going to d subtract let's say minus two from this now you can very well uh, you know uh, predict that what is going to happen uh, basically uh, what will happen is uh, you will end up actually this sheet minus sheet uh, this uh, sheet dot count will give you 3 and then 3 minus 2 will give you 1 and the 1 is your this main sheet so before this first sheet all these sheets will be created right let me just run this 
uh, alright so we got the error let's check object doesn't support this property uh, okay alright so I guess because we have to put this minus 2 here and let's let us check yeah so now you see that all the sheets are created before this main sheet right so this is how your code works and uh, I can further to give you more clarity I can further explain you uh, you know by giving you one more example uh, you really don't require even this in case if you are very much sure that this the new sheets will always be created before some particular sheet then you can simply say that sheets and then you can select the index if I say that second then what will happen is before this A sheet which is my second sheet uh, you know these many sheets will be created or you can if you don't want to write the index you can even write the name of the sheet like this right alright so now let's run this code so I'm gonna say 3 so you see that 3 sheets are created 1 2 3 before this A sheet which I have mentioned here so now this will always create sheets before A whenever you run this now let's say I'm gonna run this code again I'm saying that this time I want just one sheet press OK now you see that now this is a 33 sheet which is just created right so you have actually make this code uh, this is a static code right so what is happening is this is creating this this is taking this Z parameter over here and the number of sheets are being created but they will uh, all always be created before this A sheet right but just in case if you would want that your sheets should always be created uh, you know uh, just after the very uh, last sheet then you have to use that code which I was just telling you which is this code sheets you can say that worksheet as well and then here you'll write here sheets dot count so this is the parameter which you have to you know cut and paste here right and then what will happen is it will count all the sheets and uh, after now for example let me just show you again uh, let me just cut this and uh, because I think the more examples I'll give you the better understanding you'll have now see what will happen now my right now I have selected the sheet 33 you can select any sheet now press F8 let's say we want to enter uh, five sheets press ok now see this sheet count will give what what it is going to give you seven so ultimately you have seven sheets one two three four five six seven so what will what will happen is this parameter seven will go to this command which is a VBA code and this seven sheet you know uh, it, it will take it as a uh, sheet seven and the sheet seven is your the last sheet which is the sheet B and just afterwards you know after that these the number which you have entered five or six whatever those many sheets will be created as you can see here see all these sheets one uh, let me just show this so one two three four five I think this is what we have actually entered there right so uh, that's all guys uh, you can create this code and uh, I hope uh, you uh, like this code and and remember uh, if you guys are again thinking that um, uh, because I have just actually saw that we have written here before right so that's why it has created the sheets before this sheet the last sheet if, if you would have entered something like this after and now if you would have pressed ok and if you have I beg your pardon uh, if you press now 3 see what will happen the sheets are now going to be created at the end after this B right so this after and B is also very important for you right so I hope uh, you have uh, liked this video and um, I must tell you that this is uh, my 100 video and I must thank you all for your support because of your actually help and because you supported this channel so far um, you know um, I have been able to make this hundred video and before I wrap up for the day uh, I just want to tell you you can even go to my playlist and you can check out all the videos according to the category so we have bifurcated all the videos according to their subject uh, if you are looking for the D functions in the Excel here is a video for you which I am in a you know in a plan 
uh, to expand in the near future what if analysis dashboard making conditional formatting excel vba chart pivots excel videos and vba videos and all that so this video will also be you can go in this uh, playlist uh, i'm going to upload this video in this uh, playlist so that's it for now and if you like the video do uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, you can if you have any questions guys uh, that's my email id write me in and uh, i'll definitely go ahead and try to help you out and share the video with you thank you so much have a nice day bye bye